Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Anaconda Python on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Anaconda and the first link which will appear here will be from anaconda.com. So we are going to click on this link. So on this main page, you can read more about Anaconda distribution. For downloading Anaconda, click on this free download link here which is going to redirect you to the anaconda.com forward slash downloads URL. Here you will be able to see the download button for Mac OS. Now here, when you click on this uh, arrow drop down menu, you have two options for the Anaconda distribution. If you are using Mac OS with the Intel processor, then you can use the first option. If you are using Mac OS with Apple Silicon chip like M1, M2 or M3, you can click on the second option, which is download for Mac M1, M2, M3. I have M2 chip on my Mac OS, so I'm going to select the second option here, which is download for Mac M1, M2, M3, which is going to start the download of this .pkg file. It's around 742 megabyte file, so it'll take some time to download. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this, uh, anaconda.pkg file is downloaded. I'm going to click on this .pkg file and let me minimize the browser. Now this is the first window which will appear when you try to open this .pkg file, which is going to show you this kind of warning, which says this package will run program to determine if the software can be installed. I'm going to click on allow here, which is going to start the anaconda installer. At this point, you have this introduction section. So I'm going to click on the continue button. On the next window, you will see some important information about Anaconda. So you can read this uh, information. And uh, once you are done, click on continue. The next window will show the software license uh, agreement window. So you can read about this software license and then click on continue. And then if you agree with the license terms and conditions, click on agree, which is going to show you the installation type. Now here it says this will take around 4.81 GB of space on my computer. I'm okay with this. So I'm going to click on install button, which is going to start the installation of Anaconda. Now at this point, I just need to wait for some time until uh, this uh, installation is finished. And now I can see after a few seconds, the installation was successful and you can see the Anaconda launcher is being launched and then you will see uh, these kind of windows. Now when uh, Anaconda starts for the first time, it's going to show you this kind of Anaconda navigator. And if uh, this M Anaconda recognizes that you have some older version of Anaconda, it's going to uh, encourage you to update your Anaconda. So here you can see, do you wish to update to the newest version? For now, I don't want to do it, but you can press on yes and then install the latest version of Anaconda. I'm going to click on remind me later so I can do it later also. So this is how uh, this Anaconda navigator looks like. And at this point, I can also click on continue here and it says code with the Anaconda in cloud. I will click on continue. And then I'm going to click on close, which is going to uh, finish the installation of Anaconda. So we don't need this PKG uh, installer anymore. So we can click on move to bin, which is going to move the installer to the bin. Now you can see this Anaconda navigator is launched. Here you have all these different uh, tools which you can use. Some will have the launch button in front of them which means that these are the applications which you can launch and these uh, applications comes pre-packaged with the Anaconda distribution. For example, applications like uh, Notebook and Spider are very popular among developers which can be used with the Conda application, right? I also have uh, the Visual Studio Code and PyCharm community already pre-installed so I can also see the launch button for those. And then uh, some applications you can install later. For example, Anaconda Toolbox, uh, Glue Viz, Orange 3 and PyCharm Professional. 
So these are some applications you can uh, install at the later point. Let me close this Anaconda Navigator for now and then click on yes to uh, exit out of it. Once the Anaconda uh, distribution is installed, you will be able to see this Anaconda icon in the launch pad. You can also search for the Anaconda icon and then uh, open it from the launch pad itself. And generally uh, people do this. So every time if any update is available, it's going to encourage you to update to the latest version. Now, as I mentioned, Jupyter Notebook and Spider are very popular when you uh, install Anaconda Navigator. So from here, you can click on launch, which is going to launch the Jupyter Notebook on your default browser. So when you click on the Jupyter Notebook launch button, it's going to launch uh, this Jupyter interface on your default browser. You can see it will look like this. You will also see that uh, here, the terminal will open and uh, it's going to show you the process uh, which has launched the Jupyter Notebook, right? So if you want to uh, know the token, you can see this is the token which uh, will be used to log into your notebook and this is the URL. So some information about your notebook will be displayed here, which you can use uh, later, right? Now, in order to create a new notebook, you can select any folder. For example, I'm going to select the documents folder here. And let's say I want to create a script inside uh, the sample folder. I'm going to navigate there and then I can click on new and then click on uh, Python 3, for example. And it's going to open this uh, kind of Jupyter interface. Here I can evaluate some script. For example, if I write two plus two here, then click on the run button, it's going to evaluate that script and then it's going to show you the output. For example, I want to write uh, print and then I want to print something. For example, hello world. I can do that and then I can click on the run button, which is going to print the output. So this is how you can uh, launch your Jupyter Notebook and use it. Also, when I move back to the Anaconda Navigator, I can also launch this uh, Spider IDE. So I'm going to click on uh, Spider IDE, which is going to launch this IDE on my uh, Mac operating system. So you can see this IDE has been launched and it says Anaconda Navigator would like to access the file system on your desktop. I'm going to click on OK here and then click on OK here and then click on OK. So it's going to ask you uh, the permission and then you can take a tour uh, how Spider IDE works. So click on Start Tour and if you don't want that, click on Dismiss here. So here in the Spider IDE also, you can uh, uh, run your Python script. For example, let's say I want to just uh, print Hello World. So I'm going to just uh, type that. Once I'm done, I can run this by clicking on this run button and then you have uh, this run configuration run file with default configuration and then if you want to give the custom configuration you can uh, choose this configuration from here I'm going to run the file with default configuration and then click on run and it's going to print the output here and then uh, I have the option to run the current cell and go to the next one and then I have the option to uh, run the selected area or current line from here. I have these debug buttons at the top. So when I want to start the debugging, uh, if I just add these breakpoints here and then start the debugging, my debugger is going to stop uh, at these breakpoints and then I will be able to debug my uh, code which I have written in Python. Now, Anaconda also comes with the Conda package manager. So when you uh, open a new terminal, you can open the new terminal by clicking on the spotlight option and then just search for the terminal and open the new terminal from here. And let me open the new terminal window here. And then you can use this conda command here to uh, install some packages, right? So to list out the list of packages, you can give this command conda list and then press enter. 
and it's going to show you uh, the list of packages which are available you can see so many packages here so uh, you can install all these packages using conda so so to install a package using conda you just need to uh, run this command conda install and the name of the package so you can uh, see uh, any package name which is available here and then click on uh, that package for example pyqt and then conda install pyqt and then press enter and it's going to install that conda package but i will recommend you to create the virtual env first and then install these packages so that they are not globally installed but they are installed in your project only so that's how you can download and install anaconda on your mac operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video